America's top ranked miler, 1500 meter man since 1977. The American record holder in the mile and also at 1500 meters. Second in the world championships and a very, very tough field here for the final. Cheshire of Kenya, Cole of Great Britain, Scott of the United States. There is Sebastian Coe, silver medalist already at 800 meters to Joaquim Cruz, who had to scratch in the semis of this race yesterday. Then Scott, number 938. Jose Abascal, next to him, from Spain. Number 219, Andres Vera of Spain, who ran 336.55 in the semis. Steve Cram looked good yesterday, the 1983 world champion. Also from the U.S., Jim Spivey, number 941, starting in lane seven. From the Sudan, we'll be taking a look at Khalifa Omar in lane eight. There he is. In lane nine, Switzerland, Peter Vers. Meanwhile, there's Mergenberg of West Germany clearing the bar at 7-7 seven, seven and three quarters. And he is the first man to clear that height, and he is right now in the driver's seat. Dietmar Mogenberg of West Germany, 7-7 seven, seven and three quarters. To complete the field, at the 1500 meter final, Peter Vares of Switzerland. Then next to him is Steve Olvet. What a week it's been for him. A couple of days in the hospital, among other things. Tony Rogers from New Zealand and Ricardo Mastarazzi from Italy on the outside. Marty LaQuarrie, one of America's uh, premier milers of the past. How do you figure this one's going to go? Well, it's a quality field from every aspect. The m number of men who have held the world record, traded it back and forth. Uh, the quality of the times that they had to run to make it to the final in fact all of them ran faster in the trial heat than everyone that ever ran in the olympics except kip kano and her belly when they won so the quality is going to be unbelievable so here we go three and three quarter laps one of the glamour events in any olympics as you look at dwight stones at the start of this race that's going on simultaneously, Stone's making his second attempt at 7-7 and three quarters. Meanwhile, Khalifa Omar of the Sudan running out near the front along with Joseph Cheshire of Kenya. We'll cut back to Stones as soon as Dwight is ready. Well, Khalifa and Omar taking the lead, but it's not fast. You wait four years for this race. You hope to see an historic race, but usually the pace is slow. There's Cole being stepped on from behind. Steve Scott in fourth position, good positioning for this early in the race. And if the talk has been since the World Championships last year that either Sidney Marie or Steve Scott would have to move first and draw the kick out of people like Sebastian Coe, Steve Ovet, and Steve Cram. So for a year, here goes Stones, and Dwight does not make it. Only one more attempt remaining for him at 7-7 seven, seven and three quarters. So Stones in some trouble right now. Missing on his second attempt. In the World Championship, Steve Scott was outkicked by Steve Cram of Great Britain, so he has learned that he's going to have to take the pace. His coach said at that time he would have a secret plan, which he wouldn't use until the Olympics, and everybody knew what that secret was, and here it is. He's going to push the pace from this far out. Unfortunately, Sidney Marie and Cruz did not make it to the final. They may have helped Scott, but really now it's going to be Steve Scott against a great field. First split was 58.8 at the 400 meter mark, and there is Scott with two laps to go, with Cole right there with him, and Matarazzi as well. Steve Scott has spent the last year stealing himself for this task, not only physically, but mentally, to not let it come down to a kick. That's why in his last race, it appeared in a half mile race, he didn't have a lot of speed, but he knew he didn't need speed, he was going to need strength, and he's gradually picking up the pace. Scott on top. Cole is second, that is Jose Abascal making a move up on the outside, number 219, and also that's Steve Fran, the big man, number 362. In another 50 yards or so, Scott would have to not let him pass. It's still fairly early, so he did let him go. Scott needs to move out now. Cram right there, rumored to be injured, but Cram has been the winner over the last two years. Sebastian Coe was favored to win the 800 meters in Moscow. He lost it and came back to win the 1500. He did the same earlier in the week. Meanwhile, Ovet is beginning to move a bit. Spivey also has a big kick. The other American, the rail thin, Jim Spivey, number 941, currently in fifth, and Ovet just quit. Ovet just went to the infield. Ovet's had problems this week, as you all well know. 
collapsing at the finish the other day, so he is done. Steve Ouellette is out of the race. It's still Avascal leading. Poe is right there, and here comes Cram as well. About half Five, a lap to although go. Although he has dropped off the pace, has a great rush in the last hundred, but it's the two Englishmen. It's Coe, it's Sebastian Coe, and it's Graham, and it's Abascal in third place. It's Sebastian Coe, the world record holder at 800 meters and the mile, the 1980 Olympic champion. Here comes Graham, the world champion. It's going to be Coe and Graham, and it doesn't look like Graham's going to catch him. It's Sebastian Coe extending his lead, and Sebastian Coe on his way to the finish. Sebastian Coe wins the gold medal. Graham winds up second. Abascal holds on for third. As Fivey couldn't kick in the stretch, Scott, after taking the lead early, faded, and Sebastian Coe. He's steaming mad. He's yelling at the British press. He is steaming mad for the treatment that he has received for the last four years. In 1980, he was supposed to win the 800 meters. He lost it. He got second. He was supposed to not win the 1500 meters. He came back and won it. He came here four years after world records, but injuries the last two years. He lost the 800 meters again, got the silver medal. Was not expected to do anything in the 1500 meters. Very low key. Said, I wish I had another year to train. And he did it. And boy, I've been to England. I've read their papers. I know how he feels. There's Steve Cram in second place. And I thought McEnroe hated the British press more than anybody. A very odd reaction in a moment of jubilation and what should be elation. It was Coe crossing the line and then indicating to the British press that they were wrong and he knew what was going on, that he knew he could win it. Steve Scott is being consoled by his wife, Scott, who Marty said his strategy was to go out in front at that particular point. He was able to manifest that but had nothing left at the end. And Steve Scott, who's been America's top modeler for seven years just didn't have it today and as the uh, British wind up first and second with Sebastian Coe taking a victory lap Graham winding up second Abascal was third Cheshire of Kenya ran a nice race to finish fourth and Jim Spivey of the United States finished fifth meanwhile Ovette the great British middle distance man who spent two days in the hospital he had bronchitis, and he was hyperventilating yesterday after he finished in the semis. He had to drop out on the last lap. Sebastian Coe, right there. And Coe is usually the calmest of athletes. It was almost annoying when he set world records and then just calmly jogged away. And there is a man who's letting the emotions of about two years out with the press. Steve Scott, uh, the great American hope has nothing to be ashamed of because he did what he had to do. He went early, tried to move, but he joins Cunningham and Bontram and